Portrait of Harriet Tubman is expected to grace the face of the $20 bill. In the next decade, she will become the first woman featured on paper currency here in the United States. The abolitionists helped free slaves through the Underground Railroad. The first Canadian woman to grace that country's money will be on a $10 bill next year. Michelle Miller shows us how a civil rights icon from the 1940s is finally getting new recognition. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. Well, her name is Viola Desmond. Never heard of her? Well, up until a few years ago, neither did many Canadians. But her story is giving context to assumptions on Canada's history that the nation, free of slavery, free of legal segregation, was not so free of racism. Desmond gave voice to that. The beauty parlor was in her home. 90-year-old Wanda Robson is proud of her big sister. This is her apartment here. Proud that by 32, Viola Desmond had built a thriving hair care and beauty supply business, modeling herself after America's first female self-made millionaire, Madam C.J. Walker. She said, that's what I want to do. That's who I want to be. This, this lady was way before her time. She's even prouder of a decision Desmond made in this theater back in 1946. All I wanted was to see a movie. An event now reenacted for Canadian oh, television. I can't sell downstairs tickets to you people. On a business trip in New Glasgow, waiting for her car to be repaired, Desmond bought a ticket to watch a movie from a seat of her choosing. She said, I relax, and next thing I know, the ushers tapped me on the shoulder and said, you, you can't sit here. And she said, well, why not? She said, you have the wrong ticket. Your ticket is an upstairs ticket. And Viola said, well, I'll just go back and change it for a downstairs ticket. But they wouldn't let her. Policeman said, we're going to arrest, well, arrest me. I have done nothing wrong. They dragged her out. It wasn't difficult. She's only 95 pounds. Desmond spent the night in jail, was fined 26 Canadian dollars, and charged with failing to pay a one-cent difference in tax. They said I didn't pay the theater tax. But it was really about color. It was the only legal way to charge her, because while practiced, segregation was not written into Canadian law. Desmond appealed, and her case was heard by Nova Scotia's Supreme Court, but it was dismissed on a technicality. Desmond's stand would soon fade into obscurity for many, except for Professor Graham Reynolds. I think that that moment of spontaneous courage was just the the kind of thing that inspires people. Reynolds knew all about Desmond's case. He taught race relations at Cape Britain University. What he didn't know back in 2000 was that her 73-year-old sister was taking his class. And I'm telling the story about Viola Desmond. When I'm sitting there in the class, I said, uh, I deserve that's that, my sister. That's exactly <laughs> what did you so say? So that that was well, I was absolutely totally taken. Of course, I realized that she was uh, a treasure. And thus began a partnership to bring Viola Desmond's story to light, one that traced her history here in Halifax throughout this entire area, and ultimately, in ten short years, gave Canada a new national hero. Together, Reynolds and Robson worked to clear Desmond's name, and in 2010, the Lieutenant Governor of Nova Scotia issued her a posthumous free pardon. In the process, Desmond's status as a civil rights pioneer was rediscovered. Her name has appeared on a passenger ferry and her face on a Canadian postage stamp. So what are you going to do? Make it right. Then, in 2016, 70 years after her solitary act of defiance, Viola Desmond. Desmond was chosen from a list of hundreds to be the first woman outside of royalty on Canadian currency. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't mom and dad be proud? Why do you think they chose her? I think they chose her because the timing was right, because of the fact that she stood up, she stood her ground for what she believed was right. Viola Desmond did not live to see any of this. She passed away in 1965 while living in relative obscurity right here in New York City. And a note to the wise, if you yes. visit Canada, 
do not refer to Viola Desmond as the Rosa Parks of oh, Canada. They don't like that. They will quickly correct you because this came nine years before oh, Rosa Parks stand. Sorry, They'll it. say that Rosa Parks is the Viola Desmond uh, of America. I'd never heard of her, Michelle. Thank I you so had much. Not that either. What a great twist that yes. she was in that class. In the meeting yesterday, she goes, I got a great twist, and she wouldn't tell us what it was. That's a good twist. Yeah, You're empty right. nester who says, you know, you're right. never too old to go back to college. Yeah. Wow, that was Terrific. great. Thank you, Michelle.